Well, really looking forward to this class arriving this summer to join us and be a part of the Clemson family. Uh, we're fortunate enough to address a lot of areas that we've been looking for in the recruiting process. You know, we have two attacking players coming in in this class, uh, three players that fall into the category of defensive in nature and also have the versatility to play in midfield, and we're also bringing in a goalkeeper. So we feel like we've addressed uh, some of our needs going into the next season and also laying a little bit of the foundation piece for us going forward. Uh, we feel like it's a group that's going to be able to make some contributions to us right away. And, uh, you know, we're just we're excited for them to come here. Can't wait for them to get started. Well, Danny Antoine. Danny is, uh, is from Boca United, played for head coach Mark Chung. Uh, Chungi is a, is a good friend and a former U.S. national team player. Uh, good to know that Danny is coming in with a strong soccer education and background, uh, playing for an excellent coach and being in a good environment. Uh, excited for her to come. This is a player that's going to bring some versatility to our group. She can play in the back, she can play in the midfield, you know, composed on the ball, uh, good in the air. You know, she's going to meet a criteria that we've been looking for, so, you know, and hopefully going to be one of these foundation pieces for us as we move forward. But just a solid all-around defender, very bright in the classroom, and uh, she's going to bring an awful lot to our team. Sarah Duckworth from Georgia. Sarah is one of our, uh, two of our uh, CESA players. Obviously, Clemson's familiar with CESA, the Carolina Elite Soccer uh, Association, and Sarah's had the privilege of playing with Andrew Hislip over the years, so we know that she's been well-tuned and, and toughened and has played on a solid uh, club team. Uh, Sarah's gonna help us with our depth. You know, she's a versatile player. She has a good technical platform. You know, she's excited to be a part of the Clemson family and, and looking forward to getting into our training environment and uh, is a very intelligent player, very intelligent person and uh, we're looking forward to the attributes that she's going to bring especially into our midfield. Julie Mackin, Real Colorado. Getting Julie was, was a, a top priority for us and we felt we wanted something more in the attacking side of our game and with getting Julie who has national team experience you know, we have somebody now that can play on the left and the right. Uh, very versatile player, quick, good on the dribble, not afraid to take people on, uh, knows where the goal is. Uh, that's going to be a, a great piece for us to add going into next season. So extremely excited for her, and she obviously continues to get national team experience. So she's, she's going to be a good one for the Clemson Tigers. Rachel Manfrey. Rachel is a, a, our other CESA club player. You know, played for Andrew Hislop for many years. Uh, Rachel actually reminds me a little bit of the, the Bayorth twins in a sense that she's, you know, she's hard and tough as nails. Not afraid to get stuck in on a tackle. She's very competitive. Uh, we feel like she can be somebody that once she gets in our environment, her game's gonna going to evolve. Uh, it's certainly going to bring us some initial depth in the back, which was kind of a question for us this past season. So we feel really good about addressing that particular need and uh, we know Rachel's going to give 100% every time she steps on the field. Sarah Osborne from Maryland. Sarah is one of our two Maryland United players. Uh, Sarah is a wide attacking player. She's good off the dribble. She likes to go 1v1. Uh, the, she's somebody that's confident with the ball. She wants the ball. And uh, beyond being an intelligent soccer player, she's a very bright student. So we're excited about adding her in. She's going to give us especially some quality depth in the wide area positions this, pat, this uh, coming season and uh, we're looking forward to her contribution coming up. Mackenzie Smith from New York. Very excited to have Mac coming to us. She's probably the best overall athlete, you know, beyond being an outstanding soccer player, she was an outstanding, or is an outstanding basketball player. Uh, she wants to focus on soccer for college, which is great for us. You know, this is a kid that is very versatile. You know, she primarily can play in the back, but she can play, also play up front. She can play in midfield. One of the better headers of the ball, which is not always the greatest strength in the women's game. So that's a, a great dimension that we're going to be adding to our team. Uh, excited for that. Uh, I think she's going to be one of those foundation pieces for us going forward. Uh, she's worked her butt off being on the Region 1 team for years and having the opportunities to go play in Europe at, on several occasions. Uh, and also was invited to a U19 national camp. So there's a lot of very good upside from Mac and she's going to bring a, a wonderful dimension to our team. Mel Stiles from Maryland. Mel's our goalkeeper that we've recruited to, to, as part of this class. Uh, Melanie is a very good shot stopper. 
you know, she has quick reactions. She's an excellent student of the game. She's a hard worker. Uh, one of the better communicators that I've seen in goal, which is very rare for a young keeper. Uh, she's eager to learn. I think she's excited to come in and train with Kaylin and uh, be a part of our environment. But she, you know, having her and Sarah from Maryland United is going to give, you know, that's going to be two pieces that, you know, we're excited to add to this team. So uh, excited for Mel to come in and uh, it's going to be good to see what she does over her four year career. Well, looking ahead to the 2017 year, you know, when you reflect back on our past season, which was obviously another very good season, uh, we addressed one major uh, point that we needed to deal with and was regarding our depth. You know, we got a little bit injury plagued there at the end of the season, uh, so we were a little thin in a few areas, but by adding this group of seven recruits coming in, we've been able to address that issue. You know, we, we shouldn't have any depth issues. Uh, and honestly, the kind of the backbone behind this class was uh, being a good part of the foundation piece for, the, for our, uh, the next phase for Clemson over the next several years since we have a large recruiting group go, uh, graduating. This group's going to have an opportunity to play with all of our rising seniors. They're going to benefit from that experience. They're going to benefit from the, uh, the lessons that they'll learn, great apprenticeships. Um, you know, this is a good investment that we've made and we feel like, you know, top priority is we're going to get some help and depth in those areas. Now several, you know, there's going to be opportunities for a number of these players to immediately impact and help us, which is going to be great because you want people to challenge one another and uh, compete for different spots. Uh, so we're excited about, you know, being able to not only add that depth to our equation, but now we feel like we're going to add a few more weapons, you know, because, you know, the versatility of the class. We basically addressed every position. We have the goalkeeping position and we have the, the defenders covered. You know, we have holding mid, defen you know, defensive midfield, you know, wide play, attacking players. We've got a little bit of everything in there. We're hoping that just including this group this year will be a little bit of the precipice for us to go that much further into the NCAA tournament and obviously to get us ready for the ACC, you know, league and tournament. You know, we feel like we're going to be a team that could be in contention and, you know, we needed this reload and we needed a, a new injection of talent and it's going to be good for our team and good for our program. So I know I'm looking forward to it because it was a group that we've worked on for seems like many years now. Uh, and I feel really proud of the fact that beyond being all very good soccer players, they're kind of already a part of what our culture is about. Very good students in the classroom. They, they typically excel. They're good people, come from great families. So it's, you know, this is going to be after this season, uh, you know, we're going to be turning a different type of page going forward. And this is going to be the foundation group going, that, that will take us there.